Hello, this is Dave from Bullpen Cycles. I just pulled in from a long trip in Pennsylvania. We're here at our shop in Edgewater, Florida, and we've got a new haul from our secret stash of vintage motorcycles. Let me give you a hint. Here's your hint. What's in here? Oh, you can't see it yet. Nope. But I'll give you a hint. They have no valves. Hmm. Welcome to Bullpen Motorcycles. That's Inga, our rescue dog. She likes motorcycles too, but she likes to eat them. Right, Inga? I'll show you the secret that's hidden in the trailer. This is a Doc Z racing paddock starter. Runaway Gator. How about a Honda Sport Kit for CM91 in the original box? give you a hit on this one. 57 or 8 overhead cam twin. How are you? Very yeah, good. How you been doing? Smile, you're on the camera. Oh. I'm doing well. Yeah? Yeah. So introduce yourself. I'm Oscar. <laughs> yeah? I'm learning. So anyway, these are the secret bikes I was telling them about. I'm going to give the audience a hint. Okay. I said there's no valves, uh -huh. but it's not a two-stroke. Uh -huh. Rotary. You're not supposed to tell them. <laughs> yeah, well, yep. I have to keep 
one of these. Uh, they can tell me how it goes together. Of course, I do the other. You know, I have a. Hey! Yeah, yeah. So we're finally unloaded. We have the trailer and the van unloaded. Let's see what we got. This was a this is a Kawasaki Super Sherpa. This is different than the KLX. It's a 250 cc overhead valve, four valve per cylinder stainless steel exhaust. I think the KLX is water cooled. Uh, it's sort of a cult bike. Followed by this Steen All Sport. These were out of California. It's a mini cycle produced with a Hodaka motor and a leading link front suspension, which was popular in the time for desert racing. This is what you were waiting for. Not one, but two. Two 1977 Hercules W2000 oil injected Wankel motorcycles. They made about mm, 18, 1900 motorcycles like this, but only the last 400 were oil injected. The oil tank is here through the gas tank, it's injected. Other than that, the bike between this and the premix versions are pretty close to the same. I don't run two-stroke oil. Two-stroke oil carbons up the inside too much and makes the valve seals stick. So I run Castrol GTX. We'll fire one up and you get to see how it runs. Take one of them bad boys for a ride. But not until I finish showing you the rest. This 900 CR Super Sport. I think this is a 96. I've had this Ducati a long time. There's just something thrilling about a 900 CC V twin. Two valves yet with a 9,000 RPM red line. But let's, let's not forget this. This is a Horex. Horex is German. H-O-R-E-X. But that tank is actually a Zundap Citation because in the United States these were sold under the Zundap brand. This is actually a Horex though because it came from Argentina and it's near the end. It's a Horex 450 twin cylinder overhead cam from 1958. Yes, I said overhead cam from Germany in 1958. Now look at that motor. What does it remind you of? It reminds me of a Honda CB350. We can fire that one up sometime too, but maybe not on this trip. Ran it out of gas. Yeah, and it's, it's, it was shooting gas like crazy too. Well, I turned it off, so it's dry. I gotta fix that. Are you gonna go for a spin? Yeah. I'll check it out. I got air in the tires, right? I don't know. If you crash, it'll make a good video, and I'll get lots of hits. Oh, that's not promising.
See, I told you she loves motorcycles. She loves to eat them. Hey! She's in shark mode. Hey! <laughs> 